Hi guys, Wartums here and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the race event Seesaw. For the first section, the most common variation is this one with three seesaws. Starting on the front row will give you a big advantage, so if you spawn further behind, be aware that jumping next to other players can randomly ragdoll you. The same thing goes for jumping onto a sloped seesaw, so sometimes you just have to accept your fate and try again. When you get to section 2, aim for one of the outermost platforms, as it can be really hard to move on if you go for the middle one unless you're in the lead. If you have the possibility, jump onto the yellow railing as it can easily give you a few extra options if the orientation of the upcoming seesaws aren't favorable. If you're close to the leader, try following him, as if you don't and take a different route, you can easily get cut off. A different seesaw layout you can get is this one. Here you want to move slow and steady while trying to jump as little as possible, as the steeper seesaws will be more inclined to knock you over. When on a steep seesaw, move diagonally up towards the middle of the seesaw and towards the next platform. Never try to jump or dive up the seesaw, as walking is usually enough. For the second section of this variation, stick close to the middle of each seesaw and you should make it across fairly easily. And for the third section, you're gonna revisit the seesaws from section 1, except a little harder, as they're even more offset in comparison. Just stick with the same strategy and you should be fine. When you make it to the fourth and final section of the map, apply all of the strategies that we've talked about so far. When deciding on whether you need to go to the left or to the right side, look at the orientation of the third seesaw, as well as where other people are moving. In this example I see that the right side is way more open than the left, therefore I go that way. When you get to the final seesaw, go slightly off center and when the seesaw tilts in that direction, go to the opposite final platform. Lastly, here's a tip that it seems like most people don't know about. For the first two sections of the map, you can exploit the checkpoint zones by hitting the side of the fixed platforms and then fall down. If you hear this sparkly sound behind the woo, you can rest assured that the exploit worked. As mentioned earlier, remember that you can only use this trick for the first two sections, as it will not work for the third section. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button as it helps me out immensely. I've noticed that a large portion of you are actually not subscribed, so please consider hitting that button so you don't miss out on future guides. Also, please leave a comment down below on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand or you'd like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, Make sure to find me on Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums, and you have been you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and a good life. Bye. Get up, get up, get up. Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody bell like bonked into me. Oh wow! <laughs> Talk about luck! Woo!